So uh, we're talking about Sun Yat Nui. Uh, the novel, in my own words, I think was uh, was pretty interesting at first. It, it started off a little boring, and I thought, but as it progressed, it started getting a little bit more interesting. As D Five hopefully really understood, you know, who he was, you know, what he was about. Um, he really, he really at first was was a part of the one state, he was part of the actual uh, society. He followed every rule to the T. Um, but when he set eyes on an I-330, you know, he began to really see the reality. Uh, he began to see life as it was. Uh, it's like he was, he felt that he was reborn, you know. He, he knew the ideas and what what uh, I-330 and the rest of the, uh, of the organization was trying to do was trying to pretty much overthrow uh, the one state, the benefactor, and uh, and really, you know, change the way that they live. You know, they wanted a, a rebellion. They wanted to start an uprising. You know, something different. Um, towards you know the middle of the book, you know, D five four three starts going through a change somewhat. Uh, he really starts to you know believe everything I think that he says. Uh, he begins to protect her. He's very protective of her. Um, in many ways, you know, he he really loved her. You know, he would do anything for her. Um, towards the end, uh, he really uh, went through an operation with the uh, with the benefactor uh, and told him everything, which was a really really big shock because it was as if he really wanted to become you know uh, together with I three thirty, but then changed it was really weird you know um, I thought it was it was really strange because he was all for you know the rebellion he was there and then he goes through the operation you know you know which takes away you know emotion and, and any type of feeling and he tells the benefactor everything and that was really really not normal for him so uh, as he even as he he uh, it stated in the book where he saw uh, I-330 as she was being uh, tortured. He said she would be stubborn as he told the benefactor. She said that she would be stubborn you know, and as he tortured her, she probably wouldn't tell you anything. And then after the operation, when he had the operation, and he seen her again, he didn't really recognize her. You know, all he said was, yeah, she's beautiful, you know, or uh, she looks nice or something like that. Um, but then they tortured her and she didn't reveal anything. You know, he said that uh, reason would be uh, would always win, and it left the rebellion uh, in, in in hand. You know, it kind of just left us there, like, what now? So you're left with nothing. I think um, the story ended too abruptly for me. I think he should have probably let it go, maybe past the rebellion, or came out with another one. Um, but it just ended too soon. You know. Uh, I mean, D503 is, uh, I would say it's more of a phoenix. And the reason why I say it's more of a phoenix is because phoenixes are, are creatures who can, who burn once they get to a certain age or get too old and they die. And as they burn, they are reborn from the ashes as a baby and it recurs you know, over and over and over. So they never lie, they never die. Initially, they're always reborn. With, uh, D503, he states that the rebellion, uh, or he states that the one state should should be should win. You know, it the one state will win. You know, with reason. You know, he took away all of his emotions. You know, he took away all you know feeling. You know, and he said that he was fixed because he took away his soul, and now he's back to the way he was. And he recognizes, even in the journal entries, in the last, uh, I believe in journal either 40 or 30, 39, where he states that um, after reading or uh, after the operation, you know, and going back through his, his, his journal, he didn't really recognize, you know, he, he understood the handwriting. He knew his handwriting was similar to his, but he, not, he noticed that he lacked feeling. And he was like, now he feels like he's reborn. And that now he's like I say he feels I think he's more of like a, a phoenix.
Phoenix because he feels that he's reborn and that he's going to become something else. And now he's going back to the ways of uh, the one state, you know, abiding by all the rules. And uh, that's the reason why I think he went ahead and, and told the benefactor everything you know, after he had the operation. Um, they consider that, I guess, dreams, you know, or having any emotion or any type of feeling as sickness or illness. Even in the movie that we watched, um, you know, they had the same similar problems as the one state did. They, he had dreams of him being on a boat, and after a while he wanted to question everything. You know, how are we, got, how are we being made? You know, how are we being manipulated? How are we being constructed? You know, where is this going? Where am I going? What is my purpose? You know, all those things run through their head. Eventually, you know, they start to ask questions and they start to figure out what they do. So, um, overall, I think the novel was pretty good. Uh, I kind of do wish she did come out with another one, but um, I liked it. At first I didn't like it, but towards the end I liked it. I'm really angry that he, he left us there just like that, but overall I think it was really good.